Well, why is Wayno's reviewing a helmet that she is old? I mean, this one, I've already reviewed it before. But the issue is with this helmet is that it's been repriced because it's probably a run out because cask helmet have replaced it with a new model so the price point is considerably lower than it was before which really means that its value for what it offers is a lot lot better so since i've actually bought one of these run out models let's review them again and see what the pros and cons are after i've had a number of these cask infinity helmets over the years Well, this helmet has been significantly reduced, and these helmets, I think, were around about 400 to 450 Aussie here in Australia. And what's happened is, is they've been heavily reduced. Now, the one that I actually bought with Express Post cost me about $186 Aussie, so it was a little bit less than that. I think it was around about 160 something. So extremely cheap for a Italian made helmet like Cask. So what are the benefits of this helmet and what are the pros of this helmet, even though now it's at this really low price? Well, this price was only for the blue colored helmet. They actually have got other colors, but they were around about 230, 240 Aussie, which is still pretty reasonable for one of these cask helmets. Now the helmet is primarily a aero helmet. So it has a sliding piece that you can close and you can open. And this is one of the reasons why I actually really like this helmet, because I use this helmet in spring and autumn and a bit in the winter as well. And the reason why I like that is in Australia, when you go to work in the morning, and it's, I, I leave quite early around about 5.30, it's dark and it's cold. It, it's, it can be under 10 degrees. And I don't like wearing things under my helmet. I find it affects the fit of the helmet and it doesn't fit properly. So I don't particularly like to wear a helmet that has holes in it and then wear some sort of cap or buff or something underneath that helmet because I I find that it affects the fit and also in a lot of cases it's still letting the air in. But when you use this cast infinity, you can close that down and shut the air off so you're not getting any of that air and you don't have to wear anything under the helmet. And I really like that because then you have a more comfortable fit on your head when you're riding in the morning. Now in the afternoon here in Australia, we can have beautiful winter days where there's a completely blue sky, not a cloud in the sky. And you can get to 17 or 18 degrees. So when you come home from work in the afternoon, you want to be able to open up the helmet because you don't want a sealed helmet. It's too hot to ride in a completely closed helmet. So you can just flick that vent up and you get some ventilation. So it has the ability to work in different climates and you can custom the helmet to suit those climates because it has a vent that can open and close. And that's why I really like this helmet. The only negative thing that I've seen with this helmet is it has the pressure pieces that go onto your head, the, the little foam pieces you can fit inside and you can replace them. And that's actually what I was going to buy originally. And then when I went online and I saw how cheap they are, I actually bought the helmet because the helmet I actually have currently, I did actually have a low speed crash and did have a little bit of a dent in it. So I thought, mm, at that price, better to buy a brand new helmet. The helmet's more than two years old. It's had a dent in it, it's had a crash. So best to discard that one and get myself a new one. Now this one's blue. I don't really care that it's blue. My last one was white. I think it looks okay, the blue color, but obviously it's probably not as popular because that's why that one was a bit cheaper than the other colors. So it's something you need to consider what sort of color helmet you like. But this helmet at 186 bucks, Aussie delivered express post, I felt was a real bargain. And they really are quite well made and very comfortable to wear. I particularly like the cast helmets and like to wear them because 
For me, I find them a lot more comfortable than other helmets, and comfort to me is a pretty important when I'm riding, and that's why I don't like to wear anything under my helmet. So what I do is, is I, I use the Magito for the summer, and then when it starts to get a bit cooler, and it's starting to get cool in the mornings, then I switch to my cask Infinity. And the other good thing about the Infinity is, if you ride in the rain or it starts raining, you close that vent down, and yes, some rain can get in at the back if you tilt your head forward like this. But generally, it keeps most of the rain out, even when it's really heavy. So you don't get all this water running down inside your head. And I think that's a real another bonus for this Cask Infinity. So what are the negatives? The negatives with this helmet is once it starts to get a bit warm, it is a bit difficult to wear, even with the vent open. It might look like a big hole in the front, but once it starts to get a bit warm and you're starting to get like in the high 20s or the 30s, which we get in Australia for many, many months of the year, the helmet is just too hot to wear. It's, it's just no good for the summer in Australia, even with the vent open. It's just still too hot. So that's something you need to look at if you're going to buy this helmet. If you live in a hot climate, it's kind of more of a autumn, spring, winter helmet. It's not a summer helmet. If you live in a cooler climate where temperatures are not getting that hot, you could probably wear this helmet all year round. But I find it a very, very versatile helmet for using in a lot of different weather conditions, and that's why I like it. So in conclusion, well, this helmet probably was not that good of value at it nor at, it, at its normal recommended retail price. And I know it was about... 400 and something you could probably pick up for special for special 300 and something some high 300s but now it's dropped down to just over 200 aussie or or under 200 aussie it really is really good value and the reason why i'm making this video because if you're interested in some sort of helmet like this or you're not you're, you're in the market for a new helmet at this price point they're really really they're really good value and they're cheap so you can snap one of these helmets as they're running out the model. So I've used one, I've had two of them. I even crashed in one, kept my head all good and in place. So I'm still here today. And you just can't go wrong at this price point for a helmet that's made in Italy and is as comfortable as the cask. Well, anyway, guys, leave your comments down below. What helmet do you like to wear? What helmet is your favorite helmet? And you keep buying and you find it's really comfortable on your head because I think that's the main thing. And you know what I'm going to say, smash, smash, smash that like button. And also, if you haven't already, don't be a ninja watcher and subscribe and hit that bell down below. That's where I'm going to leave it and I'll catch you next vid. Cheers.